today i am presenting you this 30 years old male patient who presented to my neurologist friend in a neurology department with complaints of loss of uh, recent memory short term memory loss since road traffic accident two months back now he had a history of fall from the bike and struck his head on the road he doesn't remember anything of that incident but he says that he was told he lost consciousness following injury then woke up for a brief time a lucid period and then loss of consciousness again now that is called lucid period and patients with lucid period have got good prognosis now on ct scan you can clearly see the epidural hematoma now that's the recent ct scan and the hematoma has hematoma has shrunken in these two months now he's a very lucky patient usually it's very rare that the patient survive with conservative treatment of extradural hematoma for large and progressive epidural hematoma, treatment is uh, urgent surgery with evacuation of blood through a burr hole or craniotomy. Post-op hyperosmotics are given to reduce intracranial pressure and brain swelling. Now, it is extremely rare for epidural hematoma to not require surgery if uh, GCS is above weight and volume of epidural hematoma is less than 30 ml and no neurological symptoms like uh, pupil involving thunder palsy, severe headaches, uh, weakness of one side of the body then they can be managed conservatively. Now this patient had just partial impairment of memory according to him. He forgets the names of the people. He knows that I know this person but he doesn't remember uh, the names even of the close ones. His past memory is intact but have short term memory loss and that's probably due to the fact that this extra neural hematoma is on the left side of the brain so dominant hemisphere is affected so that was extra dural hematoma i thought uh, this is an interesting case and i should share with you thank you very much